All right, this is the review for the chain rule if you need to redo this. So let me give you some examples and then the derivative. So the chain rule is just an extension of the regular power rule where you multiply the exponent and subtract one. There's just an extra hook at the end where you take the derivative of the base. That's what makes it a chain. So in this case, six times four is 24. Copy the base down, subtract one to the exponent, and then the hook is the derivative. Now put parentheses around it, and that's the hook that makes the chain. Sometimes, gotta be careful here. So let's say I'm a little bit meaner, and I give you a function like this. First we gotta write it friendly, so that would be 3x, uh, 2x to the exponent 1 third. And then when we take the derivative, this is actually the product rule and a chain. So the product rule would be the first times the derivative of the second. So that's 1 third, 2x, subtract 1. And then the hook is 2. So that's the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So we have a chain rule, product rule, putting it together. Sometimes you have trigonometry. So if I give you trigonometry and say, hey, take the derivative with the chain rule, the derivative of sine is cosine, copy, and then the derivative of 2x subtract 1, that's the hook. All right, one more and then you got as much review as I can give you. So I want to take the derivative of this, see if I have enough room right here. I bet I can do it. So it's the bottom times the derivative of the top, which is secant squared copy times two, subtract, we might run out of space here, uh, the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is negative sine, I'll put it here, negative sine 3x, but it needs a hook, which is 3. So it's negative sine 3x, but it needs that hook 3. All of that would go there. I ran out of space. And then the bottom squared. It's okay to write it like this. You could also put the 2 in the middle. All right, good luck on your quiz. Mr. G Math, over now.